Hi, I am Teacher Jonah, and I will teach you some basic Bisaya greetings. Are you ready? Number one, good morning. Maayong buntag. Maayong buntag. Maayo means good. Buntag means morning. NG is the connector for maayo and buntag. Maayong buntag. Good morning. And what will be your reply? You will just add pud at the end. Maayong buntag pud. Maayong buntag. Your reply is maayong buntag pud. Number two. Good noon. Maayong uddo. Maayong uddo. Maayo, good. Uddo, noon. NG is the connector. Maayong uddo. Good noon. Your reply, just add pud. Maayong uddo pud. Maayong uddo. Maayong uddo pud. Number three. Good afternoon. Maayong hapon. Maayong hapon. Maayo, good. Hapon, afternoon. And G is the connector. Maayong hapon. Good afternoon. Your reply, just add pud. Maayong hapon pud. Maayong hapon. Maayong hapon pud. Maayong hapon. Number four. Good evening. Maayong gabi i. Maayong gabi i. Maayo, good. Gabi i, evening. And G is the connector. Maayong gabi i. The reply? Yes. Maayong gabi i pud. Maayong gabi i. Maayong gabi i pud. If you know the person you are greeting, you can add their name before or after your greeting. Like for example, when you see me and you want to greet me, you know my name, that's Jonah. You can just say, Jonah, maayong buntag. Or, maayong buntag, Jonah. And you can do that for the rest of the greetings depending on the time of the day. The same applies for the reply. You can add the name before or after your reply to the greeting. Example, I will greet you. Maayong buntag. Katie, your reply would be Mayong buntag pud, Jona. Or Jona, mayong buntag pud. Like that. And you do that for the rest of the greeting replies. Let us have a practice. I will be greeting you and you should reply. Let's just say for example, your name is Mr. X since I do not know your name. Okay, let's practice. For example, it's morning. Mayong buntag, Mr. X! It's noon. Mayong udto, Mr. X! It's afternoon. Mayong hapon, Mr. X! It's evening. Mayong gabi, Mr. X! Another practice. So you will be greeting me and you will start with morning, then noon, and then afternoon, and then evening. Let's start. Go ahead. Maayong buntag po, Mr. X. Maayong udto po, Mr. X. Maayong hapon po, Mr. X. Maayong gabi po, Mr. X. Now, you might hear some Bisaya people reply with this word. Sad. Alright? So, let's not be technical. They actually use pud or sa sad. Okay? So, they usually interchange it. But they both mean the same. They are a reply. Example, you would say, Mayong buntag! And then they would reply, Mayong buntag sad! Or, Mayong utto sad! Mayong hapon sad! Mayong gabi sad! Like that. Next, after you have greeted somebody, you want to say, how are you, right? So, in Bisaya, how are you is, Kumusta man ka? Or, Kumusta ka? 
or kumusta? Usually, we use kumusta man ka when that person is your friend and you haven't met him or her for a very long time. Kumusta man ka? Kumusta ka and kumusta are both the same. You can use them when it is your first time to meet that person and you just plainly want to ask them how are they. Okay? Kumusta ka or kumusta? Kumusta ka? Kumusta? And what would be the reply? It's maayuman. 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 It means that you are good, you are fine, you're doing great. Maayuman. Kumusta ka? Maayuman. Some Bisaya people actually borrow English words. So when you greet them, kumusta man ka? Kumusta ka? Or kumusta? They would sometimes reply like this. Okay ra? Okay ra man? Okay kayo. It means that they are okay. Okay ra? Okay man? Okay kayo. When they say okay kayo, it means that they are very, 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 very okay. And usually when they do it in this tone, okay kayo, it means that you are close to them and they are uh, saying they are good in a joking way. Okay kayo. Let's have a practice. Let's have a conversation with Besaya. Okay? Example, it is morning and I saw you. I will be greeting you and you should reply, okay? And then I will be imagining that your name is Miss Y. Ready? Let's start. Mayong buntag, Miss Y. Kumusta man ka, Miss Y? Good job! I am happy that you somehow learned in this uh, simple lesson. And if you really want to learn more about learning Bisaya, just click the subscribe button and I will do my best to teach you what I know. Thank you so much. Goodbye!